Oh my goodness, this is so hard to fit. <laughs> Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I've been crocheting nonstop, and um, I have. I'm at the point where I'm going to divide the body parts, and I'm having a hard time fitting this to my screen here. And I don't want to go over to do it over the bed. Okay, so I measured nine inches. So this is for my size. For my size, I mean I'm between two extra large to three extra large. But um, on my live stream, I don't know. I know lots of people missed it and they've been messaging me. So not to worry. You can watch the replay or you can um, come and join me on June the 27th, which is a Sunday. I don't know which time I will be uh, on the live stream, but uh, I will pop and say hi because it's a Sunday. I won't take that long. But other than that, yeah, if you missed it, you missed it. I'm sorry. Nothing to worry about. Life goes on, right? Okay. So what, I, I explained the same thing. I had a customer who bought the green diamond, uh, same um, top that I, uh, cardigan that I have uh, crocheted. And she, she said she was a large size. She messaged me and she, it per, uh, fitted her perfect. So, so what I'm saying is, the way I'm doing this, this can this can fit between lot even to a medium size. It depends on how big your arm is. So if you have a big arm, it will fit between medium to uh to extra large. If you want three extra large, I'm sorry. If you're bigger than three extra large, then you need to crochet a little bit longer. About I would say about an inch. The reason I'm saying that is the because of the increases. We do the increases, right? So this is the sleeve area. So my uh, arm, my biggest arm, when I wear it, it's uh, 16, right? So this is perfect. See, when I measure it from here, I know it's really, I'm sorry. Let me pull this up here and uh, try to show you. So this is like a 18, if I show it to you. See? It's like an AT. See? Comes up to the AT. Sorry about the mess. I have whips on my... Waiting for me to uh, work on them. But um, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, this is 100% cotton. Again, uh, lots of people have been asking me what yarn you're using. This yarn is from Iplic Outlet. And I only use this inside. So I still have, I would say, more. So I'm going to use up all this uh, yarn to finish it. And then I have another cake, which uh, I will start the sleeves. Meanwhile, it depends, uh, right? Uh, if I have enough yarn, I will do long sleeve. If I don't, I'll do three quarter sleeve. But uh, yeah, so uh, the more I crochet, I will start on the sleeves. And then I, I will go from there. I just need to figure out, right? Because uh, this is 700 gram of yarn. And uh, this is about, I would say, like a light three weight. Yeah, so it, it's, it's not bad at all. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to divide the body parts. And another thing, I did make a playlist. If you want to go into my, um, my channel and then click the playlist, you will see diamond uh, cardigan top down playlist you will see a picture so click on that and i'm adding these this as well because it, it is the diamond and it's a top down crochet so uh yeah you can click on it to, uh, from uh, now on i'm going to refer to these videos because i'm doing the same technique as i did on the green uh, card again so what i did is okay uh this is the right side of the work because uh, because of the stitch. Can you see? Yeah. So this is the wrong side. This is the right side. I didn't pay attention. It doesn't matter which side you work on. Okay. So what I did is I crocheted all the way here. Okay. Just like this. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to start joining. Okay. So what I do is, from this corner to this corner, 
I'm going to join. Okay. Okay, to do that, focus. This is very important. If you miss it, you can rewind and watch it over again. And in the future, if you want to come back and watch this video, I would highly recommend you to watch it here. So what I do is I make a like a double crochet, but I don't pull it. So I'm, I'm going to be me making like a bobble stitch. I think it's called. No, this is not called a bobble stitch. What stitch is this? This is not a puff stitch. Cluster stitch, I think. Yeah. So what I do is I don't pull it and I see we do two uh, double crochets, right? So I'm trying to use that technique. I don't know if this is out there. This is how I do my uh, joining the underarm, like dividing the body parts and joining it. And then what I do is, okay, so I come here. Oops, forgot to do a yarn over. And then I make another one. Okay, so I have two and I pull them all together just like this. Just like this. Okay. Don't go don't go like this because it won't go it won't be right. And pull it like this. So I'm gonna be crocheting. I'm just gonna continue crocheting my uh my design. I know it will be a little bit uh, weird, but nothing to worry about. Okay, so we need to play around with it. I might make another diamond here somewhere. Okay, I just need to figure out because I'm going to be making one diamond here, and then I made an. I'm start. I started another diamond here, so I might make a, another diamond. I make. I might play around with it. So just bear with me. Okay, so I chain one, two, three, four. And then I just continue making the design, the pattern that uh, I work with, which is, uh, I do have the tutorial and it will be linked to the diamond top-down playlist as well. And the first video as well. This is the part two of this uh, tutorial, but this is how you divide the body parts. And then you just continue crocheting the design that you were working on, nothing else, but this is how you join the underarm. Okay, and then what we do is, okay, from here, this is like 18 inches around, so it, it will fit me perfectly. And like I said, this will work from large, even to medium, it depends on how big, how loose you want it, right? To uh, three extra large. Okay, so this is just perfect. If you are a smaller size, don't crochet nine inches down. If you are small, medium, I would advise you to crochet eight inches would be enough because uh, this is crocheted, right? So eight inches would be enough. Just try it on and then see how it fits you. So I'm just going to continue crocheting the design that uh, I've been working on. And uh, I will meet you at the other end here, here to divide, uh, to uh, divide the body parts, add this uh, sleeve, and then I'll be right back. Two, three, four, skip two on the third. Okay, so I'm, I'm at the end. I just wanted to show you I'm doing my new diamond and uh, just wanted to show you because it's done. Um, that's how I did the first sleeve. Two. Okay. And then I chain four. Well, no, here I was chaining three. Okay, so here I do my first, I do my second, okay, and I grab the other end here, just like this, 
and then I make oops I forgot to go yarn over again I keep on forgetting that and I make two more and you should have five loops oops oh, something wrong there Okay, so I have five loops and I pull them all at once and I chain four this time. Okay, and I continue crocheting my design, the stitch, and that's all to it. This is all to it. Put it on, try it on. It will be like a short, uh, like a crop. <laughs> Try it on, and then all you do is crochet as long as you want. Uh, the, what I do is I finish the yarn and then go to the sleeve. But um, because I have another cake, I'm going to start the sleeve. So I'm going to crochet a couple of rows, and I'll come back because I just want this, uh, you know, this part to get bigger. And I'm not going to do any increases or nothing because this is a card again, and. Uh, you just go back and forth. That's all you do, like crocheting a blanket, nothing else. And then, uh, I, well, for this video, I'm going to come back and show you how to do the sleeve. And I will put the link for uh, the green uh, diamond. I did the same method, same style. This is how you divide the body parts. This is how you, you know, uh, you crochet. And I crochet my... Um, sleeves around and around seamless and that's what i like about it and when you're finished your cardigan is finished that's what i like but uh, i want to come back and show you because uh, we did one uh, diamond here one diamond here so we, i need to do something here to do that i need to make this one see this one this uh this part so I am going to play around and I will come back to show you when I come back on the next row. I will show you because you need to, uh, you know, play around to create the design. Okay, one, two, three, four. Like what I'll do is on the next row, I will do two. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to do chain because here uh, we're going to be doing two double crochets to make it pointy. And I will do the same thing. So I will come next row and show you. Okay, I'm almost here. This is where I'm going to be creating a design. To do that, you, need just, you just need to play around. Okay, so. Okay, it's better. I hate it when it's blurry. Okay, so I am doing my design. I'm just following. Okay, so oh, one more double crochet. Okay, so I did this design. Is it blurry again? Oh, and then I'm going to repeat this design here. So here, what I need to do is I need to make this one. So I'm going to chain five and then I'm automatically going to jump here and then continue making my design. So I create a new design here just under the underarm and then on the next row what I'm going to do is I'm going to be continue crocheting two double crochet and then six double crochet and then making a new uh, diamond here right here so next row would be two double crochet that's how I um, create a new design you know just to play around with it because these are the two right and I don't want it to, I want it to put the different design up here okay so I'm just gonna continue crocheting and I will do the same thing here because it's just a repeat so I will uh, make the five chain and then on the next row I will create a new design which would be the 
eyelet uh, diamond and this is all you do okay so i will come back i'm just going to continue crocheting a couple of rows because i want this well i can even start the sleeve because uh it's not like knitting right so uh, uh i'll just uh crochet a couple of rows i want to crochet because it's really fun i love crocheting this design I'm really enjoying it and I did get lots of comments that uh, everyone wants to start with the stitch this design I would highly recommend it's really fun and then uh, I might need to make another design here or because I'm going to do the uh, decrease so I will show you how to do that as well and I'll be right back okay I've been crocheting non-stop and I just love it love it love it I put it on I tried it on and I would highly recommend you to put it on I might keep this one for myself if it doesn't sell on my Etsy I just love it it fits perfect so I am like I said I'm um, I wear between two extra large to three extra large and this would fit from large to you know up to three extra large comfortably and it fits me very comfortable and i like the color uh, collar area it's just perfect so i've been crocheting back and forth that's all i've been doing i just wanted to show you the underarm and i'm just continue crocheting how the design goes okay so i'm going to pick up a stitch and i will show you how to start Again, I do have a, a tutorial. I will put the link below or I will, you know, put it on the end of the video. But I do have a playlist. So now I just wanted to show you. So this is how we finish uh, the diamond eyelet here. And then we start a new one. So this is a new one. Okay, here's a new one. And here is a full diamond. And here's a new one that we're going to be starting. So between here, I need to make this the six double crochets okay that's how you can uh, figure it out it's so easy so to do that I would do is I would jump uh, around here somewhere I like right here and I would do six stitches six double crochets here and I will continue crocheting okay okay so let's get started i'm just gonna pull my other cake that i have because the other one is occupied so just grab this and i'll be right back okay i just noticed you know what instead of doing the six double crochet because this part is wider i'm going to start from here and then go from there i guess that would work you just need to, you know, play around with it. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to make four double crochets, two chains, four double crochets. So I need to fit this right, right here. So I'm looking at it. Yeah. So I need to fit it here. So I will poke my crochet hook. And, uh... Let me turn on the light. Yeah, sorry about that. It's getting dark. The weather is uh, cloudy today. Okay, so I'm going to leave a long end a little bit and I will weave that as I go. So I'm just going to chain one, two, three. So I'm going to consider that as one double crochet. And then I'm going to make total. Let me see. I need to fit in here. Okay, to do that. So I did one double crochet and then I will come here and then I will make another double crochet. Oh, you know what I'll do. I just need to play around with it, with this. So I'll make two double crochets on that chain. Okay, and then I will make one double crochet here. So I am designing this as I go with you guys. See, I haven't planned anything. I didn't write anything down. And I am doing this with you guys on while I'm taping. So I did my four double crochet and then I'm going to chain two. So this is like going to be the eyelet. And then what I'm going to do is, let me see. I'm just going to try to jump right. Well, I'll do two here and I'll do two here somewhere. Or I'll do one, one here and then two there. Yeah, let me do it that way. Mm -hmm. 
So this is going to be the beginning of the row. Okay. So I'll just come here, poke my crochet hook, and then make a double crochet. So I need to make four double crochets. And one here. One here, one here, okay, but it's too, uh, yeah, it's too close, yeah, uh, like this part is too, uh, it's far away, okay, I'll make two here, okay, and then look, let's see. This is how it looks. Why is it? Oh, it's trying to focus on the background here. Just pull this down. And then what I'll do is I'll chain one, two, three, four, and I just continue crocheting. That's all I'm going to do. Continue crocheting the design. So I jump here and then I make a total of six double crochets. Just follow the design. So I will crochet this around and I will come back to show you how to join. And then I will show you how to do the decreases as I go. Okay, and I, like I said, I'm weaving this as I'm going. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just right where I started. So I am doing my diamond here. So I did total of six double crochets. I am I chained my four, and I'm just going to continue crocheting. So this is supposed to be the diamond. So I'm not gonna. I'm just going to continue crocheting. So right here, on the second, I am going to crochet. Starting from here, total of. Yeah, there's a big gap though which I don't, well, it's normal, right? Yeah. So, oh, I got a little knot here. Let me just uh, fix this and I'll be back. Oops. Press the button. It didn't work. Okay, so I am going to do total of six double crochets so two 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 then come here and then do my two four chain and try it on try it on how how you feel try okay so here I'm just going to continue crocheting the design Okay, and I will turn around and I'll be right back. Okay, I, I went ahead and I did two rows, sorry. So what I did is, I just did the pointy of the diamond, so you can see the half of the diamond. So I'm just going to do is, uh, I'm just going to follow the stitch to do that. I chain five and then what I do is, uh, there's going to be a space between, yeah. Fortunately, but I have no other choice. So I'm going to jump right here and then see how it, yeah, there's, there's going to be a big gap. Yeah, I don't want this big gap. Okay, uh, instead of uh, starting with uh, with the with this, uh, I should have done the six double crochet. But under the arm, I don't want this gap. It's it's too much. You know what I mean? And then I have to continue uh, crocheting the stitch, which is, uh, this is supposed to be a two double crochet here. And then we get this, you know, the design. So I need to find a way to not have this much of a gap. So what I will do is, yeah, um, like I said, I don't want that too much. You just need to play around with it. Use your judgment. 
try to create something just like that and uh, what I'll do is see uh, okay so I tried it on and it fits perfect for my arm so what I'm going to do is I chain four right here I am going to make a cluster I think is that what's this called okay this is what I'm making and I'm going to chain four again and I'm just going to continue uh, the design okay skip two then make two double crochet so I will come back and show you so I need to get rid of this Okay, and I'll be right back okay uh, I'm right here so uh, I need to chain five but because of this and this I can't do that right there's gonna be a big gap so I did my decrease here on the I'm just uh, you know working out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one two three four I'm not gonna chain more than four because I don't want a big gap so what I'll do is I'll make a double crochet right here and then I will make a double crochet right here and then pull them all together see or what you can do is if you don't like it because I need to do the decrease right uh, and then uh, for some when I come to the elbow I can uh, start do, doing the decrease so I can chain I don't know three chain not too much because I don't want a huge gap between and then I can make a double crochet like this see and then right here I just continue crocheting the design so uh, you can play around like this and then use your own judgment but uh, I'm just gonna continue crocheting and I will do a couple more rows of the decrease and I will stop it to to the after what well, some point and I will just continue crocheting round and around. That's all I'm going to do. So uh, I put it on and it fits perfect on my arm here. Just as the underarm. So I put a marker and I know where it is. Okay. So I will continue crocheting and I will come back uh, to show you. Just to give you an idea uh, how to do the next row. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm at the underarm again. So what I did is I chained four. Okay, and I'm going to do a double crochet right here. Okay, I need to get rid of uh, this one. So what I'll do is I will come here. And then I will come here. And I will pull it together. It's time to get rid of that middle one okay and i'm going to chain one two three four and then i am going to do is come here skip two and continue crocheting the design uh, that i do so when i come back see what i did i, I got rid of rid of them that's all i did and i'm just going to continue crocheting so I did uh, like this much I have uh, did decrease okay and I will come back to show you what to do next okay so I'm back where we started I did my design here and here I'm going to create a new stitch so this way I got rid of two two of the designs and then what I'll do is I chained four so I'm coming right here and I'm making a double crochet because I'm going to make two double crochets like this one here. And then when I come back, I will continue crocheting it. Okay. And uh, this uh, the time I finish this design, it will be enough to do my decrease because it will go down all the way to my elbow and it would be enough. So I'm just going to go around and around continue crocheting the design as uh, how it's supposed to be crocheted 
and I will come and show you next row. So skip, skip two and then come. And then you just continue crocheting how it's done. So when I, I will come back one more time just to show you. And this is how it looks like. This is the underarm, right? Under arm. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm right at that underarm. I'm focusing on the underarm. So uh, I'm sure lots of people are going to get confused. And I just continued the design. That's all I'm doing. Six double crochets. Okay. That's all I'm going to be doing. Four. So I'm just following how the design is done. Okay. And then I skip here. I chain five. And then I come here. And then I continue crocheting. So uh, let me just finish a couple of rows. And I will show you how the sleeve will look like. And try it on definitely put it on and see uh, we don't want the sleeve to be tight right but like i said this this part was the biggest part your bicep area so this part is very important after that everything is uh, easy as pie that's all i'm saying and then you will see the decrease so just be cautious we don't want it to you know have it too much decrease and we don't want this part to be tight so put it on and see how it feels like and then go from there okay so i'll crochet a couple of rows and i'll just display the sleeve okay so i have crocheted so far this is how it looks like you can see the decrease so i did not make that much of a big decrease so i kind of slowed down and after this uh, design i will a little bit a little bit not too much i will do a decrease it's already almost to my elbow so when you measure it just wanted to give you an idea and this is this hasn't blocked so when you block it it will uh, stretch a bit so when you look at it it's like almost eight inches see from the underarm so for average sleeve it's about 17 inches which is uh the average they say it's 45 up to the you know average but if you want it longer you can continue go which uh, size you want <clears throat> so i hope you like this uh tutorial how to divide the body parts and how to crochet the sleeve starting the decrease yeah uh after uh, i'm just going to continue crocheting the body is just go back and forth going back and forth and uh, if you get lost, just go to my playlist for the diamond, the green one that I have crocheted last year. Happy crocheting, everybody. Have fun.